how to convert GitHub source code to .exe file. Now, if you have downloaded source code from GitHub and want to convert it into an executable file or .exe file, the process depends on the programming language used. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through step by step on how to turn GitHub source code into an executable file, primarily on known languages like Python, C++, and Java projects. So the first thing that you want to do is to, of course, download a source code from GitHub. Now, before converting the code, we need to download the repository. So you want to navigate through the GitHub page right here. And specifically, once in time, we can now navigate through a specific repository that we want to turn into an executable file or exe file. Now, before we proceed even further, all of the mentioned tools are going to be on the description box below. So make sure to check it out. Now, I'm inside the explore section right here of GitHub. And of course, you can do this using one of your repositories if you want to. As an example, I have one of my repositories right here, but this is a website repository. We are going to explore on some of the community's repository. And from there, we will basically go ahead and download and turn them into an exe file. The first thing that you want to do is to go ahead and look for a specific repository. In my case, I'm going to be searching for a game repository because it's going to be an easier way to basically convert it into an exe file. So as an example, let's go ahead and click on one of the games right here or repository. And basically, once in time, we can download this repository by clicking on the code button. After clicking on code, you then want to click on the download zip button. It will basically download all of the files inside the repository into a zip file or a single file. And from there, we can then go ahead and extract the zip file and make the file to be an exe file. So you can just locate the downloaded file, right click on it. And from here, we can now go ahead and extract this the way we want to. In my case, I'm going to be extracting it into a folder. Now that we have our file right here or repository, we must go ahead and identify the programming language. Now the method to create an executable file, once again, depends on the language used in the projects. Common languages include Python, it is .py files, as you can go ahead and see right here. This is a Python source file. Now, another programming languages can be C++, which is going to be .cpp files. You have Java, which is .java files. You have C Sharp, which is .cs files. You want to check the repositories, readme file, or look for the key files to identify the language. From there, we can now start to convert the source code into an exe based on the language. So the first thing that we are going to do is to convert Python code into an exe file. If the project is written in Python, you want to follow the steps. You basically want to use a application called PyInstaller. You can just search it on your search engines right here. Click on the official website, which is PyInstaller.org. Download this program right here. And so we basically want to open up the command prompt in order to install the PI installer. And once inside, you can then go ahead and type PIP install PI installer. And so basically, if you came across this error right here, we need to go ahead and install an additional application called python.org you can just navigate through their official website once more click on the download button and once inside you can download the official application for python from there we can then go ahead and install the application you want to make sure that you click on the install now button from there we then have to check out some boxes right here in order to make sure that everything works properly and so if you're having some problems installing Python from their website, you can also go ahead and get it from the Microsoft Store itself, 
which will go ahead and save you a lot of hassle. You can just search for Python and once in time you want to download the latest version which is Python 3.13 as of the moment. Right after, we can confirm that everything is working by once again typing command prompt into our Windows setup and from here you can just go ahead and search for Python. If it doesn't show any problem, we can now start typing the pip install by installer. And so from there, we basically have to wait for a couple of seconds before we completely install the application or program into our machine right here. And so basically from there, you will be able to confirm it after the location of our windows right here shows up from there we then want to go ahead and locate the file that we want to convert into an exe file so as an example i have my folder right here inside my computer users my name downloads game master in game master you can just go ahead and copy the location right here click on the control c Navigate back to the command prompt and basically inside you simply want to type cv space and paste your location. You can just press ctrl v on your keyboard. Press on enter and now we are inside the file right here for our documents or programs that we want to convert into an exe file. The only thing that to do now is to basically type this specific command into command prompt pi installer space the file name that we want to go ahead and convert into an exe file as an example once more let's go ahead and convert the game.py into an exe so let's type the file name right here which is game.py Right after that, we basically have a lot of options, but let's just go ahead and discuss the basics on how you can do this. And so, we are going to convert this specific file right here into one file. To do that, you can just press space, dash dash, and type one file. And so, after waiting for a couple of seconds, this is what we came up with, with the python file being converted into an executable file now converting source code from github into an executable file depends on the programming language used now by following this guys you can basically download a github project compile the source code and create an exe file successfully if you have encountered errors you want to check dependencies and ensure that you have the necessary libraries installed and so if this video has been helpful leave a like subscribe and hit the notification bell for similar videos like this one and as always thanks for watching